Hey guys, it's Kaylor. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today we're going to be designing an app in Adobe Experience Design. We're going to be creating a social media news feed and user profile screen, and we're also going to navigate through those using the prototype tab. So let's get started with today's tutorial. Today, Adobe XD was updated and we finally have a layout grid, so I'm going to click on our artboard and just select layout. I'm going to put my columns at 2. I have my gutter at 335, which is just 40 minus the original width of the artboard. And then my column width is 20, so that's where I'm getting the 40 from. And then I have 0 on this. I'm not real sure what that is. I guess it's just kind of like this layout here. And uh, that's how I have this set up. So we're going to be using 20 spacing on the left and the right. And we can just turn that on and off as we design. And it makes things a lot easier. My artboard is 375 pixels wide by 667 tall. We're going to be using a viewport height of 667 pixels as we are going to be increasing this height of the artboard eventually. For our first screen, I'm just going to double click and name this one home. This is going to be our social media feed. I'm also going to paste in a status bar from the Apple UI kit. You can get that by going to File, Get UI Kits, and Apple iOS. Next, I'm going to create a rectangle that is the full width of the screen. I'm going to set the dimensions of this to 375 and 80 tall. Then I'm going to send it to back using command shift left square bracket key. And then I'm going to remove the border. For my app, I'm going to have some text in the center here called memories. And this is going to be in Roboto font, 20 pixels. I'm going to leave the font at regular. I'm going to center it. And let's create a black color with this. And then we're going to center it up to the artboard. I'm going to position this to the bottom of our newly made rectangle and go up 15 pixels. I'm going to slightly edit this black color and I'm just going to paste in this color code and then I'm going to add this to our universal colors over here in our assets panel. To open the assets panel you just select this little icon over here or you can use command shift Y to open and close it. Okay so now we're going to need a menu icon over here and then I'm going to add a plus over here if we want to create a new memory. All the icons and assets that I use in this video will be available in the project files that link will be down in the description below, so go over and check that out. So I'm gonna drag in my hamburger menu, which is just a two line menu for this design. And I'm going to position that to the center of memories and we're gonna be using 20 pixels on the left and the right for both of these icons. And I'm gonna grab my plus icon and center that one up as well. Now let's create the first user post. So we're gonna have one rectangle at the top of the post and this is going to be 45 pixels tall. Inside of that, we're going to have some text. So I'm just going to copy this. And I'm going to put username. And this is only going to be temporary. I'm going to align this to the left and drop this down to 10 size font. And let's bump this to medium. Now we're going to need a user profile image. So I'm going to grab my circle tool and drag one out. And this is going to be 25 by 25 pixels with a 0 0.5 border. I'm going to align that using my guides. And then the username is going to be 5 pixels in space from this circle. Over here on the right, we're also going to have the timestamp. So I'm going to align this to the right now and then just put in 2 hours or 2H. I'm going to duplicate this rectangle holding Alt and dragging down. And then I'm going to line this up to the bottom of this one. And this one's going to be 145 pixels tall. And this is going to be for our image. Next, down here at the bottom, we're going to need another rectangle. So I'm going to drag one down, holding Alt. And this one is going to be the same height, except the text this time is going to be slightly gray. I'm going to paste in a color code of 6C757B. I'm going to change this back to a regular size font. And then we're just going to say text, 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 text a few times. And this is going to be where the person gives a little description about the memory itself. On the right, we're going to have the comments and the likes. I'm going to drag in both of those icons at the same time. Let's copy those over and paste them. I'm going to be focused on a three-digit number. So I'm going to copy this text and I'm just going to put in 100. And that's going to help us space these out. 
So uh, 100 is going to be aligned on this guide, and then next to it, just touching it, is going to be this icon. And I'm going to copy this one. Next, we're going to have 10 spacing between uh, this grouping. So I'm going to hold Shift and use left square bracket key, and then we'll just line this icon up touching this one. So we basically have this, two groups with 10 spacing in between. And that's how we're going to set up our comments and likes. I'm going to highlight everything in here and just make sure it's centered. And I'm going to do the same thing up here as well. And now we have our template for each of our user posts. Now let's start adding our colors, text, and images. So I'm going to start with my colors. I'm just going to drag out a square over here on the side and just remove the border. And I'm going to start importing all the colors we're going to be using throughout the design. So the color code on the light gray is D9DEE8. The green color is 35B56B, and the red is EF1A1A. So I can just delete this square now. The plus is going to be the first thing that we need, and that is going to be green. If I can select that, there we go. I'm also going to be changing this border. We're going to be removing that once we add the image as well. And then down here, I'm going to change this one to the lighter gray, and then the heart is going to be red. When the heart is not light, it's just going to be this normal lighter gray over here. For this text down here at the bottom, I'm just going to put Hawaii trip was amazing. Amazing. Exclamation point, exclamation point. And we can just probably put a lowercase t there. And for this image, I'm going to drag in a Hawaii image. There we go. And then for the username, I'm going to put Ann2017. And then we're going to drag in Ann's face. And then remove the border. Now I'm going to highlight all of this. Hold Alt and drag down. I'm going to line them up to the bottom of the last post. And then hold Shift and down arrow key and just add 10 extra spacing in between the bottom and the new post. So now I'm going to select all these rectangles that have the border, and I'm going to remove the border on those. And I think the images also have them, so let's remove that. And we need a separation line, so I'm going to drag out a line like that, holding Shift, and we'll make that the lighter gray we have. And I'm just going to hold Alt and copy that. And when we have the spacing down here, it's going to be touching the new post. So there's a little extra spacing on the bottom here. I'm just going to copy this a few times. So I'm going to expand this artboard down. Now let's just change the information. Also, I feel that I need to mention you could have used repeat grid on this. I prefer not to use it so I have more control. And I find it a little bit hard to use sometimes. So I just copy them manually. But if you're going to use this for like 30 or 40 posts, I would suggest doing so. So now let's change the second post. I'm going to change the timestamp first to three hours. The profile name is just going to be JJ. And then down for the description, we'll say concert with at Taylor C. Now I'm going to set all of my character styles. So I'm just going to select my first text and import that one, the profile description are these the same I think they are yeah they are and for the ats we're gonna make them the darker bold okay now I'm gonna drag in my concert image let's also turn off these guides so I'm gonna turn off the layout and we need to change the comments and likes for both of these now so on the first one we'll go with 102 comments and 473 likes. On this new concert post, we'll do 15 and then 101. And then let's make us also not like this one so we have a variant of that. And then we're gonna need to fix the spacing here over 10. I think that post is completed. I'm gonna speed this up and I'm just gonna fill in these other two posts information and images real quick. Forgot to drag in one more face image, so I'm going to do that. Also, I'm not liking this divider line here at the top, so I'm just going to delete that one. 
so we kind of have that seamless look. I'm also going to select all the remaining dividers and drop them down about 50% opacity just so they're not so noticeable. One more final thing to just put the extra touch on this. If we have some video memories, we need a little video icon here in the corner. So I'm going to drag in my video button. And I'm just going to stick that up here in the corner. And I'm going to change that to the lighter gray. And I think that's all I'm going to do is just this one post as a video. So if we hit preview, you can check out the new activity feed that we just created for our new social media application and it looks pretty cool. So now let's move on to our user profile screen. Let's just duplicate this home page. I'm gonna delete everything underneath the navigation. Then I'm gonna change our artboard height back to 667. Let's change this text up at the top to profile. I'm gonna copy Anne's profile image and I'm gonna bump this to 50. And I'm going to also turn back on my layout guides here. And we'll go 20 from the bottom of our profile. And I don't know why I have this drop shadow here, so I'm going to remove that. Let's grab Anne's name as well. For the profile name, let's change this to 16. And then we're going to go to a regular size font. We'll position that right below the name. And we'll go down 10. Below that, I'm going to have my regular 10 size font that's gray. And we'll have what we do or like our little description. And I'm just going to touch that to the bottom of that text. Something new that just came out today as well. We can also select a text and change it from a point to an area. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to drag out a nice sized area for a description. And we'll put this at 40 tall, how many lines will that give us? Three solid lines of text, that's pretty good. And I'll just type out a description and place that in in just a second. Before I type out the description, I'm just gonna delete this and change this to a gear for a settings icon. And I'll change it to green. Okay, I found this description text just on the internet. I googled bios for social media, and they actually have websites for that. Think for yourselves, don't be sheep. So I figured this fit in well with our memory style app, so yeah, sure, why not? Okay, let's continue on. Now we need to display our followers, following, and memories, which is our number of posts. So to do that, I'm just going to type out 2.4k, and this is going to be the number of our followers, and that's going to be 16 in medium font. Below that, I'm going to have a normal 10 size font, but this one's going to be regular. And we're going to put in followers. Actually, we already had one for this because we need it in gray anyway. And both of these are going to be centered up together. And this is going to be touching the bottom. I'm going to group that. I'm going to place that 20 from the description. And then let's go over 40 from that. And this is going to be following and I'll just follow 104 people here and make sure we still have the same amount of spacing between these there we go and then the last one will be 23 memories and we'll fix the spacing once more for the last part I'm going to turn off the layout grid and we're just going to create a row of four images and then we're just going to repeat that so I'm going to try to make this uh, touching the side of the um, artboard. And then we'll add five spacing. And let's see where that gets us. And then we can just expand this. So we have something like that. But how much spacing does that leave us? It's about five almost. I think that'll work fine. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this 20 below this. And then we'll repeat grid and we'll just do this all the way down like so. And we'll need to fix the spacing in this to five. And then we'll continue on down off the screen. And for these, I'm going to remove the border.
And once that's done, I'm just going to ungroup. And then I'm going to drag in images for each one of these. I forgot to title this, so I'm just going to call this profile. And there we have our profile screen. Now let's go ahead and finish this up with our navigation and we'll prototype it and be done. I'm going to first duplicate my profile screen and delete everything but the status bar. I'm going to drag some text in and I'm going to say memories. I'm going to position this 40 from the left, so this is our first spacing that is not 20. And this is going to be 100 from the top of the page. Fifty below that is going to be another selection, and this one's going to say profile. Fifty below that one will have settings and then log out. You can add more if you like, but that's all I'm going to be adding. And we need our screen over here. So we're going to need two of these. I'm going to call this one nav underscore 01. And I'm going to duplicate the home page now. And I'm going to create a white rectangle that's the same size as this artboard. I'm going to drag it over here and remove the border. I'm going to hold Alt and copy it and just center it up to this one. And then I'm going to delete everything down here at the bottom. And I'm going to group everything except this white rectangle. Then I'm going to select that in the white rectangle and hit Command Shift M or go up here and select Object ma uh, Mask with Shape. And so if I drag that over, I just have this image with all these elements inside. And I'm just going to put this on this background and group it. So this will give us a nice high quality uh, screen to position in here. Let's go over about 90, something like that. Now I'm just going to select the background and apply a shadow. Y value of 0 and 20 on the blur. And then we can just drag over memories. Delete our hamburger menu and delete the status bar. So what we're doing is when we select this navigation, uh, this is going to shrink down to this section. And then we're going to select what we need to go to. So I'm going to do that one more time with you, just in case you're a little bit confused on exactly what I did. I'm going to rename this one 02. And so I'm going to duplicate my profile screen. We'll just drag that way over here. I'm going to create a white rectangle that is the same size as our artboard. Remove the border. And I'm just going to drag it over here onto the side. I'm going to grab everything over here, and I can just group that together and just drag it off of the artboard. And then we can just delete the artboard. So these are in the pasteboard, I believe this is called. Yeah. So these are just floating out here in the pasteboard. So the first thing we need to do is crop this grouping to the same size as this rectangle. So I'm going to duplicate this and position it. And I'm going to bring it to the front. Then I'm going to hold shift and grab that grouping, command shift M. And that's going to mask all of this excess off down here. And then we just drag this to the back and we group it. And we can just drag this over. I'm going to grab this white rectangle that has this shadow. I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to select my white rectangle and paste appearances. So now we have that blur on there. And we'll just drag this one into position, send it to the back, and delete the original. So now we have two screens one with each of our screens over here. So this is for memories and this one is for profile. So now we're going to link these up. To do so I'm just going to drag these down below just to stay a bit organized. So let's head over to the prototype tab.
and I'm going to select my navigation and I'm going to drag down to nav 01 and we'll have dissolve at 0.2 seconds. So that's linking to this one. Now I'm going to grab this menu and link it to this one. Next we need to link the image and the memory back to our original screen. So I'm going to drag that up here and this one's going to actually push left at 0.2 seconds and this one is going to do the same as well. Then we need to do that on nav 02. So this time we'll select profile, go to the profile screen, push left, select the screen, go to the profile screen, push left. Next we're going to link up the opposites. So profile goes to profile, going to push left, and memories goes to memories. That's going to push left. Now if I select preview, we can select our navigation, select memory, and it goes to memory. It's like memories and it goes to memory or we can go over to profile and do the same exact thing and everything is properly linked up. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial in Adobe Experience Design. We designed a total of four screens for a social media style application with an activity feed and a profile screen and then some navigation and we linked all that up in a prototype mode. So that's it for the video. Make sure you give it a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more UI related content. And as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. On the left is my previous video, just in case you missed it. On the right is YouTube's recommendation just for you. And the top center icon is my channel icon. Click that to subscribe for more content just like this. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.